for that Rachel part, I, like I'm really hoping, like I, I definitely want redemption as well. Like I don't want it to be one of those shonen things where it's basically he gets to, the, like he gets to her at some point and they become good friends. I want her just dead, basically just the, just the head rolling on the floor. Yeah, I'm the same. <laughs> but I hope they do it tastefully, right? <laughs> tastefully, like break her legs for real. Really. Right? Like, like fool me once, shame on you. But I'm gonna make sure your legs are broken this time. You know. <laughs> Damn. But that's so good. <laughs> Looks like who has our intro for the week. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya podcast, week 13 of the spring 2020 season. On this show, we discuss the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stratton. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Ku. Hello. Next up, we have Brian. Ah! And finally, we have Sasha. Oppa Gangnam Style. <laughs> All right, so hey. this is the very, <laughs> sorry, the very last week of the spring 2020 season, so... and. We don't have that much anime news, so we're gonna head straight into Tower of God. This is this was the last episode of Tower of God, so I guess we can just start with like maybe um what we thought about that last episode and then just our thoughts in general on the season. So uh, Rachel is a uh, hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Brian. That's messed up, bro. She deserves a fucking eye. <laughs> Fuck Alright guys, here's my theory. Rachel is one of the lowest princesses of jihad probably never got his attention doesn't have any special powers hence why she had kidney bean as her protector from uh head on um so i think what happened was i we still don't know how she got involved with bon but i think she's definitely lower cast trying to make herself exceptional which is why she wants to be a star so desperately and so she's trying to earn the affection and the attention of those around her. But she's just a weakling, especially when you look at her compared to Yuri or even in Dorsey and Anak. So I think this this shows a lot about her character. And um, let's just say I really liked Kuhn's comments about, you know, if you really loved Bomb, you wouldn't be here right now. I was like, dang, shots fired, yeah. baby. Pew, pew. No, bro. It was all about that burn that Hedion. Uh, told Rachel in the very beginning, like, you shouldn't even be here. You're just in the way. And then, like, you're so ugly on the inside. Just, it's like, oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. So perfectly hitting her so much. Like, yes, that he hits it on the, uh, on the spot. The rabbit doesn't even like you. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> no tricks for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah, think she would was... be as useless as they made it. Like, I mean, it, it always seemed like she was just weak. But I didn't think that she was actually this weak and useless where she's just like a normal human that like where she was just given like an extra life because. Yeah, I thought she was going to be like, hidden. I thought she was hiding her powers because she never showed anything. And I, I thought it was going to be the situation where like the, the bodyguard was like, it was just like a red herring to bait us and thinking she's weak and she would show her power layers. But no, she's just really weak. And yeah, now she's I honestly getting... thought she was, yeah. I thought she was going to be just like Bam, and didn't end up being like that at all. Nope. And he was actually the one that was supposed to, I was assuming, supposed to be called over her, which I don't know how she actually got, uh, how she was able to like warp over there, since like it wasn't actually for her, it was mainly for Bam. Probably because it's um, the same area. Yeah, I think what might have happened was... That's a big mistake, though, it seems like. <laughs> no, because I think what might have happened was, is you remember that scene where he jumps over her, like he pushed her down, and then... Um, oh, Yeah. Like, maybe they were already at the door, and then he pushed her down, and they were, like, he was about to be summoned, and I guess she was summoned first for some reason. But, uh, was yeah. there any door, though? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because it felt like he had teleported, so I don't know if there was an actual door that was open, because I feel like this is, this is where, like, Tower Guy kind of makes me mad. It's where they leave out so many details that makes you wonder, like, how things worked out. Like, I always thought mm -hmm. that she really went ahead of Bomb, and then I thought it was weird how it was she and... um. And Dorsey kind of came up from behind him, but it turns out it was it was actually all happening at the same time, and she was hidden like in that little cloak when Bomb was doing his test, and it turns out that she was climbing the tower after him. So I kind of wish they would have mentioned that in the beginning rather than towards the end to kind of help make uh, more sense of the timeline. Uh, I mean, it, it's I didn't mind that as much because it's like a form of storytelling. So, but I think it's just be, it's just the other details that they left out that that made it more confusing. I think that's why. 
Well, he, here's a minor detail that was completely left out. And this, if you go and read just chapter one of the webtoon, it's it, it literally says, like, I don't know if it's mentioned in the anime, um, but Hedon's like, what's your name? And he's like, I'm Bomb the 25th. Uh-huh. So yeah, that implies there has been either 24 other bombs or there's been 24 that have come before him. And that's what I'm saying. Like, so when Ku mentions all these details, that's another little thing that we're like gives you insight into the story and context. That's just kind of ripped and removed from the anime. So, uh, from from my sources and stuff, the reason why it's called the 25th Bam is because he was born yep. on the 25th night. So, oh, so everybody okay. else has like a surname and stuff, like the Kuhn family and everything else. So he's just called okay. the 25th Bam because he was born on the 25th night. Because also Bam's the Korean oh, name for Bam night. is night. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So, okay. Okay. That makes him, sense. They call him Yoru because the Japanese version is, is, is night. So yeah. Speaking of which. That very last team staff, that's our boy Bomb. I'm, I'm putting money on it. I think he's oh, yeah. taking the training from Cyclops. He's grown out his hair because he's like, I'm going back to my roots, naked caveman style. And he's trying to climb that tower, baby. Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure we can assume it's, yeah, it's a time skip. So. You better, you better like, have real how, long toenails. But like, how soon does that time skip happen? I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't just happen right away. I'm guessing he it's looks just way up. older, although it could just be yeah. the, the way they drew him, but he looks, you know, way older. I assume like maybe five years. I don't know. Like, uh, I, I feel like the next the next season or whatever isn't going to necessarily be a time skip. It should just be like a follow up, because if you just do a whole time skip, of like, bam, beca- like just OP as shit, it just you just skip a whole portion of like of like the whole group climbing the tower escorting uh Rachel and shit. I mean so. plenty of shonen do that, so I wouldn't be surprised. Like Yeah, they, I just feel like for something like this, it just sort of They could I mean at least for me. They 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 could like do the time skip but then they'll probably if they do that that style, then they probably like would do flashbacks to show what happened during like oh, yeah, the climb. For, like, love of God, don't do flashbacks. Hey, man. I mean, they always do that though. They always want, they, they, the David, they always do that in Shonen. Shonen. Yeah. I want nothing to do with a flashback, man. It's gonna be the next, <laughs> I'm not, so, the uh, next I'm not, in. No, but even then guys, like, my... last episode it showed that they can or probably will go that with that way of telling the story as well. Like with Rachel, right? You already know what happened, but now they're throwing like flashes of Rachel, what happened, what brought up to this point. So I feel like they might just do that. Do a time skip, show a bomb, and then they're just going to do something that triggers his memories and cause him to reminisce, causing the flashback for us to see it as to how he got there. I feel like that's what they're going to do just because of the, the time constraint they have down to like 13 episodes or however many episodes they're going to do next season. Well, I, mean, I don't so. even know about time constraint. I think it's just, I feel like that's like the style that they're going to do that the, the manga did. Or it, I mean, it just feels that way because well, they ended with the, the time skip at the end. For what it's worth, this is my investigative journalist that I'm in touch with. Okay. Uh, who's done some research. Uh, two things about this show. One, massive amounts of chapters are still being written. And the creator, I don't know his name. I think it's like SIU. SIU, yeah. Um, yep. yep. He served in the Korean army, and that's when he came up with the concept and wrote a ton for this. So you can imagine, I think it's it's a mandatory two year service for them. Yeah. So two years of just writing out the story. Don't think we're going to see time skip unless the producers and the production teams like, yeah, we could skip all this stuff. Oh, um, okay. The word that I'm hearing on the street, and this is this could be hyperbole, so don't take this as like gospel. But I'm hearing that this may be this guy's one piece. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, uh, it means yeah. been it running for ten pretty years. Pretty much Korea's version of One Piece yeah. is what it is. Like, like yep. they're they're. The, the show itself, from what I've heard of people re- reading the webtoon pretty far in, is that the anime show itself doesn't do the webtoon justice because how thick and just massive like the world building he put into this. Because he released the webtoon, but he also has blog posts with the webtoon to further dive into the story even more. So like, there's no way you're fitting all that information in a fucking 13 episode season. Like, there's absolutely no way. So. Yeah, yeah. anime is like th- a really rough thing of the webtoon. I've also heard critiques online that said uh, basically Bomb was stripped completely of being an intelligent character that has something you can hang on to and say, I am rooting for this guy because he's your typical naive 
shonen main character, which is unfortunate because, uh, you know, just from the two chapters I've read, literally two chapters, I can already tell, like, the story is a lot more detailed and there's more to latch on to as opposed to what happened in the anime. The anime is still entertaining, don't get me wrong. I'm down for a second season. But, uh, yeah, I, I wish these details, they would have just brought the show to that next level. So are there any kind of rumors for a second season or nothing yet? Uh, from what I've heard, if they do do uh, if they do 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 another season, it's gonna be like a thirty to forty episode. But those are like just straight up rumors. Oh damn! So. Are they changing the animation? Yeah, <laughs> I, dude, I don't know. I mean, it's too early. My investigative journalist was shot in <laughs> Iran, so he can no longer report. <laughs> there was a bullet that said SIU in there, so I don't know. I mean, the whole thing, the whole anime is being funded by Crunchyroll, so like they have the money to do it. It's just like how much do you really want to spend? I think I'm pretty sure it's, it's successful enough to get another season. They just need the time. I mean, like, yeah, I... if, if you have like the title of Korea's One Piece, like it has a decent amount of hype behind it. At least wonder, give it a chance. Yeah. If anything, well, because so. like it's still, it's made by the anime is made by a Japanese studio, so they have to make sure they're available. But I think because yeah, so but because it's made for, it's I, made for a streaming site, I think that there's they're more lenient in yeah. like the popularity. So I think it's definitely getting another season. So uh, another thing that I did here is uh, while they're making the anime, they couldn't get in contact with the author himself to like get a like an actual form of like direction for the anime too so that's probably why it's like mm. so like vague compared to like the webtoon and stuff that's really unfortunate because george r. r martin writer of game of thrones um when he was overseeing the show the show was phenomenal it was just like for four seasons it was the greatest thing ever and then as soon as he took a little step back and those other guys db whatever and <laughs> david took over the show you could just tell it wasn't like this giant leap of quality in the beginning because it was like slowly they were like wading through what material they had left and then when it went just like straight to them and he was like hey guys here's the basic plot points they're just like okay we're gonna take those and completely ruin them so my fingers are crossed that that's not the direction that happens with season two yeah i mean i'm, I'm guessing if there's gonna be a season two it's gonna be probably fairly Far down the line, mainly just because like uh, COVID isn't helping any kind of anime coming out anytime soon, um, and it's uh, it, it's kind of like. I, go ahead. I think Korea and Japan have done a really good job of actually containing COVID, from what I'm hearing. So, oh, yeah. it, we might actually see a, a bump up in production there. But please continue, sir. Um, say of emergency's been over in Japan for like a month, so they're pretty much back to normal. Yeah, all the shows are coming back. The ones that were basically delayed. Um, they, they, we had Digimon this week, but completely forgot to watch like it. One I, piece I, this I, week. Come back. I already forgot. Like, yeah, I already forgot like what episode it was supposed to be on and everything too. But yeah. so I guess, do you want to just do a quick recap? What, what are your thoughts for the season? Like, I guess we already mentioned how much we were comparing the anime to the webtoon, but overall, what are your guys' thoughts for this first season of Tower God? I can start first. Um, for me, definitely like uh, the first few episodes, like the first part of the season, um, got me really interested in in it. Like all the characters were really diverse, and then kind of towards the middle part of it, where it just seems like it either kind of dragged on for a while. Um, it was either getting like really, really slow. I was also getting really tired of all these uh, of basically like the the tests that just seemed like they were almost they were pointless in a sense. But then it started really picking up. Uh, it's uh, pace uh, towards kind of like the towards the end when you found more about when you found out more about Endorsey. I think that's like like from then on and then to the end of the season was when it really picked up. I kind of thought this last episode was fairly weak because it, it was just showing a lot more of Rachel and just like how much more of a bitch she is, just how useless <laughs> she is. And it's basically at this point she's just getting carried now. She she just can't do anything, and yet she's still wanting to climb the tower. And uh, I ended up giving it a seven out of ten. It's average, but I would never watch it again. Yikes! Okay. Yeah. Well, actually, I should say I gave it a seven out of ten, where it's more of like, I, like I, I would not watch this first season again. Uh, but I would, I mean, I would be, I would still watch a second season, but it's not like really on my like my high end list of what I would want to watch. If anything, just from what I hear about like, how many gaps there were with um, story wise and just kind of character development and build, I would almost probably just go to the manga or manhwa and read it but 
Mm-hmm. What All right. Um, yep. I'll, I'll just. Give, I, uh, oh, go oh, ahead. You go, go ahead, ahead, Sash. Oh, I, I have the exact same score in my head. I thought a seven. I, um, I'll be honest. If it wasn't for the hype surrounding it, I think I probably would have dropped this somewhere halfway through because I was just like, "Where's this going?" And you know, I think episode eight or nine is when the show turned it around and actually got me pretty invested into it. Where I took a peek at the webtoon or the manhwa and i think i'm gonna continue with that i'm definitely gonna give that a shot i'll watch a second season and i'll hope that it'll step it up uh but if it's more the same i'll be disappointed because i feel like this is a great story that has a lot of intrigue into it but overall the anime was just kind of disjointed and it jumped around in a lot of spaces and I wish we got a, would would have gotten more insight into certain characters. I think the atmosphere, the artwork, I got used to. I'm actually a big fan of now. Um, the music by that guy who also did the music for Made in Abyss was really good. Kevin, um, thank you, thank you. Good old Kevin. He was he was a good guy. Um, so overall, like I said, I, I'm I really want to like the show and, and say it was fantastic, but it, it just with the hype coming in, I think it uh. It overpromised and underdelivered. So I'm, I'm hoping that season two has a little more meat to it. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully they get in touch with our boy, SIU, which I don't know why I keep just spelling out his name. I, I'm afraid of mispronouncing guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, seven out of ten. Uh, it's pretty much the same for me, too. Pretty much hit all the spots. The music and animation got used to. The music was really good. Story was just everywhere. Too many holes. It was too, like far from like the webtoon and stuff too many left out details but you know again the saving grace is literally just the hype so, so am sad. i am i the only one who didn't like the animation then yeah yeah okay yeah. all right moving on I'm, I'm done i started out with you threatened but I, I i got used to it i gotta say i appreciate it, so traitor traitor <laughs> <laughs> okay um, just call me rachel no oh, i see Ooh. Uh, but yeah, actually, I'll I'll come back. I'll get you. I would actually give it a six out of ten overall, uh, just because there was so many things that that just bugged me the whole time. Uh, like it, 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 it was so hard for me to try to piece the story together. Uh, there was a much, there was a lot of hype behind it, so I felt like I was just kind of forcing myself to watch it. It was like any other shows where it's like, oh, okay, you know, like I, I wouldn't mind watching it or I want to watch it. It's just been kind of like I just wanted to keep watching it. To see how it played out without having to read the manhwa and even though it was like fairly i think it was developed fairly well in the middle and onwards like i got more uh caught up into the storyline uh, i like at the end of the story and at the beginning I, I i felt like i shouldn't have to try so hard to piece the story together to enjoy it um i do like how they ended the the series though it kind of sets you up pretty well for season two like I hate Rachel so much that I just want to see some redemption, like some payoff for <laughs> for Bomb. And it feels like there's gonna be a giant time skip, and like he's just gonna be a total badass. And I want to see this guy just just grow and show us what he can do at this point. Like show us why he's the MC. So um, yeah. Otherwise, animation it was it was okay. Uh, I think music was really good. Um, but yeah, I I don't think I would watch this again to be honest. For for that Rachel part, I, like I'm really hoping, like I, I definitely want redemption as well. Like I don't want it to be one of those shonen things where it's basically he gets to, like he gets to her at some point and they become good friends. I want her just dead, basically just the, just the head rolling on the floor. Yeah, <laughs> the same. But I hope they do it tastefully, right? <laughs> tastefully, like break her legs for real. Really. Right? Like, like fool me once, shame on you. But I'm gonna make sure your legs are broken this time. You know. <laughs> Damn. But that's so good. <laughs> Looks like who has our intro for the week. All right. Um, for me, like I gave the show a lot of, with the benefit of the doubt, just because of what I kept hearing for the manga or the, the webtoon. So, I guess like I didn't judge it as harshly as you guys did, just because I I wasn't really thinking about that as much. Yeah, I, I just kept hearing about like the webtoon. So. Although, like, I was really annoyed, like, with all the tests. That was, like, the one, like, with all, like, the, the, the plot, the, the holes in the story, like, that was, like, the one thing that really annoyed me was just, like, all the arbitrary tests. So, but, and again, like, yeah, I probably went and watched this again. Like, I, yeah. 
basically like it's only a good first season if you have knowledge that like the manga was good otherwise yeah it's hard to it's hard to recommend it to other people so yeah so you can say it, it's hyped and then the, there you go then they'll try to watch it and be like and then they'll watch like halfway through this season it's like what is this trash yeah and then everybody likes the animation <laughs> no <laughs> all right so that's gonna wrap up our thoughts for tarot god so we'll see what happens with the series um we're next to grape because that also ended this week so so again fun episode guess want to hear you guys' thoughts on this fun episode, and then we'll do like, the quick recap of the season. Yeah, Gleipnir was just my favorite show this season. Like, no, I, 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 Tower God. Way better. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I was hella confused. I was like, I don't remember what the fuck was happening. All I know is that this man's parents died. He was right. sad. He right. got mind right. controlled, and that was about it. You are the person that remembers <laughs> everything. We are the ones that don't remember that day. But I was honestly, I was just autopilot this episode. I'm like, I don't know what's going on anymore. Why dude. would you autopilot the last episode? <laughs> do it. I don't know. You got like mystical powers and shit happening now. It's like, uh, I don't know. What's going on? Alien powers. powers. Always have alien powers. Yeah. Bro, who is this <laughs> ghost chick? That's what I'm confused. That's Hon- that's, that's, that's Hon- Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Are you sure? Because uh, Elena said it was it wasn't her. It's Honoka because she pretended to be Aiko, but then Yeah, but why did she well he was about to say Honoka, but then she was like, No, don't say that. It's because, something completely so, different. Because Honoka is she's she's trying to kill like basically she's trying to kill like all the people who like bullied Aiko. And so Honestly, I think she's trying to kill everybody. I don't even think she cares. That's what she's searching for. So that that's so the whole point of Shuichi losing his memory was Elena's powers. She made him lose his memory of, of like all their friends because if he remembers, then um, Honoka, the ghost, shows up, and then she would. She's one of the the like the dust sparkle powers, and she would make Shuichi disappear. So okay, that fair. that that's why like Elena didn't want Shuichi to remember because otherwise he would like get destroyed by the ghosts. Yeah, so the missing piece is what happened with his parents and why was Honoka there and then Elena was there like holding him. So I, I thought it was a I thought it was a really strong episode. Actually, the fight scene, they put it all out there. I was like, Woo, this fight scene, baby. Um uh but yeah, I th- there's some darkness in the story. Can we just mention that dirty ass house? <laughs> like uh was Claire going there. over there. <laughs> He's like, yo, you, you want you want some dinner? I'm like, hell no, I don't want dinner from you. <laughs> Dude, so much dust and everything. I was like, oh, oh, this is just nasty. And I know for all the germaphobes out there, they probably were just sweating. Um, yeah, that. It, I don't know. Like, like Stratton said, this is the show of the season, even though I watched two shows. But uh, Gleipnir just has that like heart to it where you're like, okay, there's a story being driven here. Uh, yes, sometimes it got a bit sexual. Yes, sometimes it got a little <laughs> too much innuendo. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I care about the character. And, and that's what I like about the show is I do want to see what's going to happen to Ichi because even Claire was like, you've changed. And I know with you being this way, we can't become one like like I thought we would. And I'm very interested to see like what their whole background, what their story is. Uh, just overall, uh, I thought it was a strong ending. And a really strong season, honestly. It's just very, very entertaining. Yeah, everything, and it's like also you saw like a lot of character development, even though we don't know if it was good or bad yet, because it seems like first we kind of thought like this is kind of like what we wanted Shuichi to kind of go towards, where we where he wanted to be more, uh, uh, where he wanted to be able to just like make the decisions right away, no hesitation. But then it seems like for some reason, like what Claire has said, then it's going the wrong way, and it's not what she wanted. So it's so now I'm not quite sure, even though um, I think we talked a little bit before we started this podcast that um, the fight was filler. So does he doesn't so we don't know if he actually has like those all of a sudden power boosts where he just seems like a wait like the a fight stuff. was filler what the fuck <laughs> uh, yeah. so my my investigative journalist uh, I can't name sources but he has been shot down a rant guys please please donate okay we'll make a GoFundMe <laughs> we'll make sure all the money goes to him I promise <laughs> as we start buying massive amounts of sushi. Um, <laughs> I don't know the exact details, but apparently uh, the beginning of the episode up to a certain point and the ending of the episode were canon. 
but then everything in the middle from like the curse being lifted to the fight that's all anime original and i don't know how that ties into the manga potentially in the future um but yeah that's that's the word on the street brian what the f- <laughs> yeah I, I forgot like when the animation like hit for the fight i forgot that the show can actually do this because uh, like, it was like, early on like we kind of i think it was like episode two. three maybe that's two okay two, yeah where it was, was... We, we were, yeah we were talking about the fight and the animation we're like god damn they can actually do some stuff and i kind of forgot all about it but i actually didn't care just because i was actually like uh, i was interested in the story the characters just how everything was just how everything was happening i actually forgot mm-hmm. about the animation which normally does not happen for me. I'm very, uh, I'm uh, very picky when it comes to that. Oh, that's right. And you Shots mentioned. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you mentioned. Just want to say uh, real quick. Oh, eight. Uh, just eight. That's my score. Eight. Okay. Eight. Okay. Um, you mentioned how like uh, Shuichi's character. Level. I think what's happening is he's just he's probably going back to what he was before he lost his memory. So I think, like. Although it's hard to tell too, it could be be like his new, like it, it could be like a new uh, character development for him after losing his memory, or just I think I think it's it's mainly him going back to what he was before. So do you think I, it's also, do you think it's also part of Claire as well? May, maybe yeah, partly. Uh, so. I'd have to disagree with that. Like based on what we've seen so far with Shuichi, um, with the flashbacks that they had before when it was like the five or six of them. He seemed to be a very timid, very scared person. Um, and then with the flashback of Elena holding him, like trying to comfort him, he seemed to be broken down as well. Like he seems to be a guy that's easily scared, like easily depressed. Um, you know, he doesn't seem to have like that strong, uh, that strong sense that he's currently showing. And I think that was trying to showcase like this is what he would have been if he would have stuck with Elena. But now that he's with Claire, Claire brought out this side of him. So he went from like a wimpy, undecisive kid to a guy that knows what he wants. He he's going to do his best to get there, and he doesn't care if he gets dirty. So um, I don't think this is how he originally was. I think this is a new personality that's popping up okay. because of his interaction with Claire. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. So okay, so that actually makes more sense because I was thinking more of like whatever happened, like because I was thinking something happened, like a huge fight happened. With, with like what with um kaito and like whatever however you got the ghost of honaka but i guess your reason makes more makes sense too so we'll, we'll have to like see because we're miss we're missing that gap with his memories so mm-hmm. yep mm-hmm. of any show i would actually hope this show would get a second season i mean the, the way they ended it like yeah basically they're setting up for up for second season so they better do it because they just they basically ended without resolving any conflict. It'll just hey, take man. like five to ten years. Read so the manga. Yeah. I mean, basically, it was just like a revelation, basically, of like what they need to do, how they're going to get there, what they're doing at four. So I, I think it's even if they work to make a second season, I think it's fine with the way that they close out the series. Yeah, I was actually, I was okay with how it closed it. Yeah. Even and if they like, back, I, and they brought back Sambe, so I thought that was pretty nice. I, so, I just yeah. forgot all about yeah. him because he You're was missing. like he was gone for like majority of the show. So yeah, Dark Scyther, man, Scyther. <laughs> <laughs> that, that guy's gonna be a beast, though. And watch, he gets taken oh, out yeah. in the first episode of season two. Oh, and actually, don't you dare, don't you dare, Fred. <laughs> oh yeah, and then like everyone here thought like the whole the whole the group was gonna die, but they just basically like they basically got out. Like they're yeah, done. they all just left. They're like they're, they're just like, done. Oh, we're I would do that too if I had a if I had a garbage ass ability, uh, where I, all I could do was grow trees. I wouldn't fight either. And like I'm surprised that um uh the leader I, she can like just cancel the 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 pack. I thought I thought it was like a permit thing, where like, basically she had to die for it to be can like cancel. I didn't realize she could do it undo it herself. So that just made things easier than I thought. Hmm. Yeah, but, but I mean at the same time you don't need the pact anymore if you're not planning on you know. Um, participating in anymore. Yeah, but I mean, we just thought it'd be more dramatic with everyone like dying or something. So, yeah, me and Ku are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, they're dead because out of the race, so they're not alive in the show anymore. Right? Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't take death and just you know not participating as a, as the same thing. Ku, I think uh, I'd rather have my life. To us, they're dead because they're mm-hmm. not going to show up anymore in the show. We don't know. Maybe because of. Uh, Telescope guy might come back. You never know. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
<laughs> At Walmart. <laughs> He's gonna be with a visit girl. Oh yeah, that's right. She's still a thing too. No, I was first thinking like they might come back at some point, but I forgot they already gave all their coins away, so there's really no reason for them to, you know, to really even show up anymore. And like their powers are so specific that like there's they're gonna be very helpful in very small situations, except the guy that uh, like that grows trees and like the guy that has some power. But uh, that's about it. And the girl that grows invisible, but you know she's just gonna creep for the rest of her life. <laughs> But overall, yeah. So I guess we all really enjoy Kleipnir. Probably, I guess, I guess I'm assuming everyone just is this is our anime of the season because there's nothing else to compete with it. So yeah, there was not many shows. Um, I gave it. I don't know about Brian though. <laughs> I guess <laughs> by default. <laughs> like, thanks, Brian. <laughs> did you like this more, or did you like Tower of God more? Uh, that's hard to tell, man. So uh, I gave them both the same score. So oh, okay. Gotcha. Seven? What, yeah. You get it, right? Okay. Give them both a seven. I, I actually gave this one a nine, but I might bring it down on an what eight. But, but really, the only well, the only issue that I actually had with the show was just like, there was just an insane amount of etchiness. But at the same time, it feels kind of bad. Dude, it's yeah. right up your alley. What do you mean? Okay, I'm okay with etchiness. But there were certain times where like it made sense. But there's a, there a few episodes where we, where we watched and we're like, I don't think they needed that. I don't think they needed to really show that. But and then uh, it just felt kind of bad to dock it two points just because of like you know too much edginess that just seems like overkill and it's just like you know all the other people on anime lists where it's just like oh boobs no and then basically five or less. Wait, what? But um, you don't do that on anime lists. Score, dude. The 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 negative reviews for uh for um Gleipnir was all um basically because of edginess. Oh, Everybody man. like there's there's comments calling edginess edginess trash, which backs up your point, David. But anime list is trash, uh, which it's I did your, not want to even. It's your favorite to say sites, right? And how you got trash on your uh, favorite site? Bro, and know, just just remember back last season, two seasons ago, to interspecies reviewers, dude. Like, bro, that was that was the worst. Dude, that was a good show. <laughs> that was not a good show. <laughs> I don't know. That was I literally the worst show ever, dude. Did you watch it? No, I didn't watch it. How you don't know? This yeah. show was oh, legit God. hentai. Oh. All right, guys, all right, guys, bring it back, bring it back. All right, it's okay. Hey. It may have been. Oh, guys. Have, had I heard been. about this great show. It's about this kid who wants to become Hokage. It's great. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Sign me up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> I've seen that genius in that, too. Um, right, so that's, that's actually true. <laughs> but anyway, but I gave it. The reason why I like a high score is just because, like, uh, I mean, there was not. I don't think there was any episodes where I got bored. Um, it was just, like, all the characters kept moving forward. Um, the, like, the music was also looked like it was really good, weird, but also unique at the same time. Uh, like they a had lot of like really weird stuff seats. Yeah. yeah, they had some really really weird things. I was like, damn, this is really weird to listen to this anime, but I don't hate it. <laughs> um and it was just like nice. I, I don't know, animation was also I mean good throughout the show. Um Yeah, I don't know. It was just I mean I would watch the show again. But I mean but I don't know if I'd watch it with others. <laughs> uh, I think I think there'd be there'd be some episodes I would be like okay I can watch it and then there's other ones where like whoa 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 was this episode blah 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 I was like I'm out you, you I'll come back next episode or something yep it's like uh we watched Last House on the Left and uh let's just say there's a very very yep. bad scene in there that you should not watch with your family yep. okay thanks That's very awkward <laughs> yep. Gleipnir. It was good. It was good. I liked it a lot. It, it, it reminds me of just like, I don't know, like the old school anime vibe. Like Ninja Scroll, that was a movie that had etchiness. Golden Boy, obviously. Like it, it, it got somewhere in that same vein. Um, which So I really liked the style it put out. I, I liked the characters it had. It was unusual. It was straight to the point. Um, but uh, I'm very interested in the season two. So liked it a lot. It's a it's a Ocho for me. A definite Ocho. I thought it was it was good. There's nothing like great or fantastic about it but i really did uh, enjoy it a lot it was a lot of fun yeah it was awesome to to see like just a really unique show as well where it just mm -hmm. just the kind of like, some concepts they're just kind of like way out of there and just how they did it was but it was awesome it was cool true that all right so that's that's our thoughts on Gleipnir. uh so yeah so last episode of the season we're uh moving next to um kaguya sama um I don't think it's gonna be too long. It's 
not really much you can say about like this season in general. Like, there's tons of things you can say. <laughs> we need more Chica scenes. <laughs> this last episode too, like compared, like very. I don't know. I mean, it felt it's still a good way to end. It felt good to end, but like it's very not as impactful as the last episode, just because like Ishigami had a huge like spotlight on him, and then this episode was just more the more of the same like comedy. I mean, I, I also liked how they kind of brought everything together in a sense. Uh, I mean, the 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 last game that they played with the balloon, dude. Like, that, I thought, that balloon I thought that pump. <laughs> that that's straight up from Mario Party. I, I is that where that comes from? Like this weird Japanese game? Is that where the Mario Party mini game comes from? I'm pretty sure everyone has come out with this game once or twice in their life. Uh, I guess Mario Party was the more mainstream one, but I I can't imagine Mario Party being like the originator of this game. No, no, I'm Mario saying I, no, I'm. Party. I'm saying, like, did Mario Party get was the Mario Party game influenced by this? Is this some weird, like, old Japanese game that I wasn't aware of? Oh, I, I have no idea. I, I'm I'm not a fan of culture when it comes to games, party games like that. So, but yeah, it just reminds me of Mario Party, and then and then there's that part two when um when each guy was saying like, guys, I've been through a lot, I can do this, and then he just does one <laughs> one hit, and then, and, and then the mirror is like, yeah, the sports arc. Uh, was completely useless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh shit! Oh my god!" I thought they were gonna like make my like make Ishigami look good, and then nope, just the same mode usual. Just don't wonder if us make him a total uh, beta, I guess is what people call them nowadays. But you yeah, know, I liked how they kind of wrapped it up, um, and it didn't feel like they were playing favorites with anyone. Uh, so I thought that was pretty nice. But again, like I was kind of hoping for you know how last season there was like a like a new end scene. Uh, with Chica dancing, I was kind of hoping for something else like oh. that, like something, uh, like something I guess somewhat of a fan service, but not really. Um, but I was hoping for either Chica, uh, Ishigami, or Eno to have like their own special scene at the end. Um, and I guess they're gonna do a part three because it's they're they're still not confessing I'm their love to each super, other. So manga still ongoing. It's super popular in China, so I don't see why not. Yeah, and but I don't know. Like I like I said, with with this season, there was some parts where it felt kind of flat. Um, so yeah. uh, unless they plan to do like another introduction of characters or whatever, I feel like with a third season, they half the half the season might be flat or kind of just like not as um, entertaining to watch as before. Yeah, we'll see. Like it's, I guess, like when you have a when you do anything comedy like like long term it's 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 hard to keep that quality up so we'll see what happens for third season um did you did you enjoy this season more than well, season one or it's about the same or a little less uh, well, to be honest it was about the same, about the same. Uh, yeah just for different reasons like i like how part two focus more on ishigami uh and then i like how they brought back some of the tropes with like Chica being the the teacher of uh, Shirogane, but turns out he was just a liar, horrible at everything. Apparently, um, yeah, and I felt like they they had more uh, like serious uh, episodes compared to season one. So it was a little bit of everything. So I thought that was pretty nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, that one episode with Shikami was like that was like the most like most serious the show's ever been because it talks about like real life like relationship issues. So yeah, so like. I enjoy the show because it's just something that you can watch, lay back, and just enjoy. But then I thought that with with the Ishigami arc, I was like, "Oh man, are they gonna do like one of those like sad, like like uh, gets you in your feel episodes?" And it turns out that they did. And I guess since I kind of like Ishigami, it, it it got me in a sense. But I mean, I don't know how other people felt. They didn't really like the guy. No, I'm pretty sure the consensus is like most people, most people were rooting for Ishigami. Well, me. Because the Reddit threads, like a lot of the, the manga readers were spoiling, so like they were kept rooting for Ishigami even before he showed up. So, see, this is why I'm glad I can't read. Because <laughs> fuck spoilers, dude. I just, I just can't, man. So, just. And then I still remember um th- earlier in the season too how like they baited us with episode three, just kept thinking that was like that was like the end or something with that. Oh uh, yeah. The last part <laughs> when they made it seem yeah. like um Shirogane wasn't gonna be- run for. So he wasn't gonna run for first president again, so that's like the only part I remember that part. And then I just remember Shogane with the when he was talking about with the moon with Kaguya. So 
like a lot of really memorable moments in this season as well so i still yeah really enjoy it almost as much as season one so i hope i hope it continues i'm pretty sure it will continue yeah again with all that support from china I, i'd say they probably will i don't see why they wouldn't yeah so 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 how would you rate this show i'll still give it a nine for sure yeah oh a nine whoa yeah. damn i i, I I, roll. I really enjoyed yeah season one and two so yeah i don't know i like like i said i didn't did enjoy it but um I, I would just give it an eight like it was nice to watch uh it wasn't something i was really looking forward to but uh whenever i would watch it it was always a nice time uh and then again like in the middle of the season it was kind of flat but uh they kind of picked it up towards the end um so yeah uh, it's good but i don't think it's great just because it's more of a like a comedy show so yeah so i think that's just gonna wrap our thoughts for kaga sama and that's all we have for this week because so we only have like the three shows ended so uh so next week is gonna be the start of summer um this friday is when I uh, can't wait. fire force season two airs and then july 8th i don't know if it's either sunday or monday that god of high school is coming out so we'll see if we, we'll see if we can fit in god of high school for next week's but for sure uh fire force season two is coming on friday and then and then we'll do we'll do previews uh, we'll probably just have to do a repeat of all the, the ones that are supposed to air in the spring but we'll just repeat oh, again yeah, we can try, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we, we're, yeah basically next week where we really only, are only going to talk about digimon possibly one piece yeah right for airing shows um we'll, we'll see yeah so okay but yeah, then and then preview so probably just repeat our previews for you know sword art and shogeki and snafu snafu yeah oh, dare you put that as third yeah i think july i think i think july 8th uh snafu is supposed to air yeah so basically yeah so yeah that's why the second week of the podcast of, of the spring season is when we're gonna talk about the first episodes of the shows that aired <laughs> so we'll tweet we'll wait for that so yeah that's just right. the plan for ah uh-huh. Brian Snafu, man, it's finally gonna happen. I don't think I fuck. I I swear, if it comes to that week and I see that damn news on anime on anime news network again, where it's been delayed, it's not gonna get delayed. I don't know, dude. You know, I didn't. I, I thought we were safe last last season as well. I thought like you know it came down. It was that the week it was supposed to air. Yeah, because Corona. And then, oh, I know, dude. But still, like okay. you thought, like in, in the week of, you thought like, okay, we're safe. And then not not safe. And then you find out that a bunch of other shows were getting delayed as well. Yeah. And it's it's whatever. That's fine. And I have th- and I have and I can be hyped now <laughs> instead of basically being absolutely depressed. I got two weeks ago, so calm down. Yeah, no, it's okay, dude. I still can't wait. God, right. I can't wait. All right, so that's gonna end this week's episode. And look forward to the start of a new season next week. So, want to thank yes. thank want to thank the listeners. For joining me this week thanks thanks johan thanks for being with us thanks everyone i want to thank the panelists for joining me today thanks guys yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no problem and we'll see you guys next week bye bye, bye. bye.